Hi everyone, Tom Wolf here. In this video, I'm going to be deconstructing one of the presets from my pack Short Ambience for Sound Toys 5 Effect Rack. Now, I've had a few people messaging me saying that they're really enjoying these presets as a kind of educational tool to take them apart and sort of see how these different Sound Toys plugins are working together within the Effect Rack to make up the overall sound. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to deconstruct one of these myself uh, and show you exactly, you know, what the different parts of the preset are actually doing towards the overall sound and what the kind of thought process was behind it. So the preset that I'm going to use for it is called Pulsed Grains. If you've got the pack you can kind of go through it yourself as well. Uh, I'm going to be running my Behringer Model D synth through it with a very basic sound uh, which sounds like this. Okay and this is what it sounds like with the preset. Okay, so you can hear we've got this really kind of uh, washy pitch delay with this kind of grainy feel to it. Um, the delay kind of starts off quite slow. If you're not wearing headphones, I'd recommend it. Um, or, you know, through studio monitors, because we've got this kind of stereo delay that's starting it off. And then a kind of uh, longer uh, kind of fed back delay. And then it kind of starts pitching. So it goes through these different stages. So let's have a look at that. Uh, so the pack short ambience uh, was designed to take the, you know, you can run these really short, quite simple sounds to it and get these big kind of ethereal ambiences to them. So, I mean, you know, playing that on its own. You've kind of got a texture in itself from just playing, you know, one or two keys. Um, you don't even really want to run a melody through it because it would then become quite overpowering. So it is this really big sound. So let's have a look at how we created that. Right, so the first thing to note is we've got the mix set to halfway. So we're getting half dry and half wet signal. Um, if we right click on that, we can see it's just slightly over halfway. Might have just knocked that myself there. Um, we've then got the Echo Boy. Um, the Echo Boy is set the mix is set all the way to wet. So that means uh, the signal is going to be completely just the delay. We're not going to get any dry signal into that first echo boy unit. But because we've got the overall mix of the effect track set to 50%, we're still getting some of the dry signal, which is what's so great about the effect track that you can kind of have this purely wet signal in here and kind of have the cumulative effects of these different plugins working together and you can still kind of blend that into your original sound. So in the Echo Boy, we've got it set to ping pong delay and on my ping, which is the left channel, uh, we've got it set to an eighth note and on the pong, which is the right channel, we've got it set to a dotted eighth note. So we've got that feedback set to just under halfway. Um, and then as you can see, we've got no low or high cut filtering going on here. The main thing to pay attention to is the style. Um, Effect Rack has all these different styles within it. Um, there's loads to choose from. And you can also change it as well. This one is unedited. Uh, I just chose the distorted style for this patch. Um, but let's open up the style edit so we can just have a little look at that. So this is what the sound sounds like with just this first echo rack on. <laughs> So we've got quite a basic uh, ping pong delay going on. Again, if you've got those headphones on, you can really hear the ping pong. So it's bouncing from left to right and it's quite a basic delay. It's not really distorted, but it's certainly got a little bit of kind of crunch. I mean, we can uh, change the style there to say analog delay. We get a much brighter kind of sound to it. Or for instance, telephone get a really bright kind of top end only delay sound but for this particular patch uh, I chose to use the distorted style so you can see the distorted style has the saturation right up um, 
we've got the decay saturation set almost to the top and we've got the output saturation again set to almost the top. I think they're both on about 20 dB. So there's going to be a lot of saturation coming into this sound um, and processing the sound, which is why we get that kind of kind of darker, kind of more smeary sound to some of the other ones. Um, you can also see that we don't have any diffusion so it, or you know reverb kind of um, happening on it. So it's quite a dry delay sound. There's also just a little bit of kind of wobble happening on it, um, you know, by default on this particular style. So it does have slight kind of pitching um, with the rate set relatively high, um, not too high, but just a little bit of kind of wobble going on to give the sound a bit of character. And then there is some kind of shaping going on over here, not too much, but um, we've got a little bit of EQ. Um, you know, you can see we've got it set to cut out around uh, 2,600 hertz there. Just a little bit, not too much. The other two aren't really doing anything there. They're both set to 0 dB, but we've got a little bit of kind of mid EQ. Okay, so that's given us this kind of basic delay sound. So let's have a look at the next part of that. So we've now got Echo Boy Junior, which is kind of... So just switching that on you can already hear the kind of character change um echo boy jr is a sort of stripped back version of echo boy but it's an amazing kind of delay plugin on its own it has a lot less features but it has its own kind of characteristics to it and it's great if you want um to create a sound really quick um but also it does have its kind of own flavor to it so it's quite nice using it as a separate plugin to echo boy so let's switch that back on and show you what that's doing so We've now got the mix set to 100% again on this, so it's completely wet signal. Let's hear what that's done to our sound. Okay, let's hear it without. Okay. So you can hear it's bringing in this really kind of um, fed back delay signal. So. What we've got this set to is we've got it set to ping pong mode again, and we've got it set to a dotted eighth note. We've got the glide off, and then we've got the feedback set really high. So as you can hear, we're getting this kind of uh, very long feedback happening in the sound. That's set to 0.87. Um, so it's not kind of going into self oscillation territory just yet. Um, it's not quite high enough for that, but it's certainly a really long kind of feedback tail. Uh, we've got the style set to studio tape, which is, um, you know, it's the same as this kind of style here. We can we can choose different styles in there. We've got a few of them in our Echo Boy Junior, but we can't go under the hood like we did with the style edit. Um, we can't change the sounds, but um, studio tape's a really nice one to kind of use. It's very... Um, sort of warm uh, but doesn't change the characteristics too much um, we've not got any low or high cut we've not got any saturation on there so yeah this is kind of adding that extra that really long kind of tail and we're still getting the first part of the echo boy the first echo boy instance doing its kind of uh, ping pong thing at the start and then this second delay comes in and creates this really long kind of feedback tail. Um, so the next thing on it is Filter Freak. So let's switch that on. So what Filter Freak is doing is it's kind of creating this sort of pulsing effect. So the name of the preset is uh, Pulsed Grains and you know that's um, this is where the kind of pulse part from that comes. So we, again, we've got the mix set to 100% wet, so the entire signal is going to be filtered. Um, we've got it set to rhythm mode, and it's going to be cycling across one bar. So across the space of one bar, the filter is going to open and close again. And the shape is assigned, so it's going to be quite a basic kind of shape for that filtering, which is what's creating that, creating that kind of pulse. It's set to low pass mode. Um, the frequency is set around well just over 500 hertz and we've not really got any resonance didn't want to add too much color to this so let's hear it with that so set to dry we're not getting any of the filter and that tail just keeps going keeps going and we'll turn the mix up you can hear it kind of pulsing and filtering in and out
which is this really kind of nice effect. Um, another thing to also, you know, take note of with the Filter Freak is that there's quite a few different styles in it. So if we hit that tweak button, we've got analog styles here and you can change the different kind of characteristics um, of the actual filter sound. So for this, we've got it set to dirt. So it's again, kind of like a slightly gritty, uh, slightly lo-fi, quite vintage style to it. Um, so we can close that and let's look at our next plugin, which is Primal Tap. Um, again, this is another type of delay plugin. Um, the really kind of uh, colorful characteristics to this plugin. And you can see, interestingly enough, we've got this set to absolutely nothing. Our delay time is set to zero. Uh, so it's not creating this kind of huge delay, but what we're using this plugin for is to shape the characteristics of the sound itself. Okay, so let's play it with the mix set to zero first. If we turn the mix up. So I've set the mix to 100% so you get the full effect of what this plugin is actually doing. So it's kind of thinning it out, giving it this kind of resonant quality to it, which just blends in when it's sort of at 50%. Just adds just that little bit of character to it. It's just something that I quite liked um, when I was kind of playing about with this preset and I wanted to kind of have this really kind of... Um, characterful sound to this patch so um, that's kind of where a lot of the character comes from and you can see we've got the feedback set quite high uh, set to 40.1 percent and then we've also got a little bit of this kind of chorusing thing going on here so um, this you know the primal tap delay unit has this kind of inbuilt um, sort of uh, warping and we've got the, the depth set relatively high and the rate set pretty high as well and we can look under the hood as well with the tweak button we've got the algorithm set to ping pong like with the other delay plugins that we've got um roll off set to feedback and then we've got a vco uh, which is a triangle wave and the depth is all the way up so yeah this this plugin you know it, it doesn't have a lot of practical use it's not adding particularly to the sound but it is shaping it and it's giving it that nice kind of character and then finally, we've got the crystallizer, which is where our kind of grainy sound is coming from. So we'll switch the crystallizer on and let's see what that's doing. So now we've got that pitched tail of, of kind of, uh, of, it's like a kind of shimmer really that's kind of happening on the sound. Let's turn the mix down nothing it brings in that kind of toppy sound so not got the mix too high we've still got a lot of the dry signal coming through but it's enough to give it this um granular pitched kind of shimmer um the crystallize it as it says here is granular echo synthesizer and it kind of takes um the sound that you run through it and it slices it up into tiny little bits and then it pitches those bits um and that's what gives it the kind of granular feel um so what we've got here we've got the pitch set to 1200 cents which is a full octave we've got slice set to quarter notes we've got the delay set to eighth notes uh it's worth noting it is midi synced and then we've got the recycle which is essentially uh the feedback for it we've got that set to just over a third um it's set to reverse so the grains when they you know when they get kind of cut up it's reversing the sound before kind of playing it back um we've also got it set slightly to duck as well so what that does is when the sound that's coming in to the crystallizer peaks our threshold which our threshold there is set at 25 db um the sound from the crystallizer ducks slightly which gives us another kind of like pulsing sound so you can hear it if i sort of play a couple of notes and let it ring out when it drops below that threshold the sound gets louder which just adds another kind of like randomized grainy kind of pulsing um tonality to this this preset um yeah i mean 
if we look under the hood we've also got the pitch offset set to 13 cents uh so not all of the um grains that are pitched are going to be exactly spot on that would be a bit too kind of clean and digital so um the pitch offset is set to 13 cents to give it a kind of analog um warmth to it um we've got the slice offset set to 6.0 and delay offset set to 2.0 so that just means they they're not going to be exactly on the quarter note and the eighth note there's going to be a little bit of deviation there again to give it that kind of analog quality and we've got the smoothing set quite low so it's it's not um blending the grains too much there um there's also a little bit of low cut and high cut filtering going on um and then this is controlling our duck mode as well so um you know that is the attack of the release is how much after the sound peaks the threshold that it ducks um and then obviously you know it goes back to normal um so we can kind of hear if we turn the recycle down we don't get anywhere near as much of that pitching grain So there we go, that was uh, Patch Pulse Grains, which is this, you know, um, kind of ambient mess. I love it. You know, it's it's got a lot of character to it. It's a very unique kind of sound and you don't want to run anything too kind of uh, busy through it because uh, this sound is kind of powerful enough on its own. You could even get away with kind of feeding um, single percussive hits through it or like a little bit of white noise or something could create a really cool effect um yeah it just it has this um really long kind of floating character to it which would just work really nice as a textural thing to blend into blend into your tracks to add a little extra something to it hopefully this has shed some light on the different plugins that i've used and what each one kind of brings to the overall sound um if you did like this video please do hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting more videos. If people like this one, then I will take apart some more of my effect rap presets and kind of go through them and what creates those sounds. I've also been doing deconstructions on some of my synth presets as well for Omnisphere, Zebra, Pigments. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button. If you do want to check out Short Ambience as well, I'll put a link below so you can check that out and you can see the other presets in the pack. Um, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care.